Okay, we're back again, and this time we're going to be doing the red modeling layer. I'm using for this particular baby, uh, Bountiful Baby Lip Blush and Nail, color number four. I've taken in another sponge that I've picked and picked and picked at the edges and got it all out of there. Again, I have my paper towel layers on the saucer. And I used one smidgen of this particular paint. And we're going to mix in some of the thinner. We want this one a little bit thicker than that last layer. Uh, not a lot, just a little tiny bit. And uh, also I want to save, have a little bit left over so that I can mix it with some um, of the uh, burnt umber later on for, um, for putting into the creases and such. So here we're going to go. We're going to take this. I'm going to put, again, three. But since we had uh, started out with a little bit more paint, it'd be, maybe we just put like two and a half. And we'll mix that up and see what that looks like. I don't usually measure, so it's kind of hard to say without looking at it. Again, I had just pound and pound on the paint with that brush, just going at it like that to get it uh, well mixed up and everything in liquidy so that when you add this, you don't want any uh, chunks of paint that didn't dissolve, especially when you're messing with reds, to end up getting on your sponge and then, of course, getting on the baby because then you, it's kind of hard to get it off sometimes. Sometimes it works out and looks like a little birth mark or something, but not always. So we're going to do that really, 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 really well. And I'm going to push it off of that uh, sponge and everything just to get it to make sure it's really well mixed up, which it is. Okay, so we're going to start with my other sponge that I had picked out. And we're going to wet this. You see how it, the red just really just soaks in instantly, so a lot stronger paint, so you have to be a little bit more careful. I want to really push this down on the paper towel pretty well. I keep um, baby wipes. You can get different brands. That one happens to be Huggies. Um, because they wipe off brushes, uh, you can clean up spots. You can even take off paint that you've gotten on the vinyl. It works pretty well. It doesn't seem to affect the stuff. It dries pretty fast. Anyway, then we're going to rock this on here. We're going to do, as you can see, it makes quite a bit of difference then from the blue because it really, really, really marks. And before we do too much, we're going to take that sponge and go around and pat it. Now the red, when it dries, does seem to uh, lighten up some. But a baby's skin is really uh, got a lot of reds in it when they're first born. So you just continue to, and like I said, just like I did in the last video, you can actually, where you blotted the paint, I'm not even real sure that doesn't work better to start out that way even. Because as you see, it looks a little bit better than that right there where you blotted it on the paper towel and then you just come in and um, blot it like that on there to get some more paint onto your sponge. Now I use in between uh, when it's like this type of stuff rather than sticking it into the oven and having to wait eight minutes I use the um, heat gun that Genesis makes. Works really well you just have to move it very very slowly across the um, the vinyl so that you get every single little spot dried really, really well because if you don't, then um, sometimes you'll take off what you've already put on when you go with the next layer, so you have to be kind of careful there. And see, I guess you can probably see how that looks. I kind of like this one. And like I said, 
we're going to stop it now and I'm going to probably do it with my gun and then I'll come back and add some different colors in there.